All righty, everybody, welcome to the Marquis Joke Show. Happy here. Thank you, God. <laughs> yes, yes. You know, the Dorindas are so booked, so we'll just say that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we'll say. We have Shalaya Frazier on, and we have Let's Auntie go. Dr. Evangelist, preacher, teacher, singer, songwriter, all of the above, Dr. Dorinda Clark Cole tonight. Woo! No. Good time. So everybody, I need you guys to share this live, okay? The Rosebuds are on. The Shea Bays are on. And my Shea cousins Bays. are on. Shea Bays in the house. <laughs> so all of our supporters are on tonight, and we're going to have a wonderful time. I'm going to let y'all share it, share, share it, and please keep it live in the comments. We like good, fun, clean comments. If you if you get a little rowdy, you know, I call that going to C-sharp. Don't go to C-sharp on us and get rude, oh. you know, because <laughs> so, we might just get rude back. So, you know, so don't go to C-sharp on us tonight. Keep it nice. Keep it fun. Keep it positive, right. okay? Yes. Don't be yes. rude in the comments, but please share. I'm going to share because let me tell y'all, these Clark sister fans, so we're going to get into that. They don't play. No. And if they know Dr. Dorinda, I told them she was going to be on here tonight with both Dorindas. Oh, they're, they're, my Instagram is going crazy. You told us they that you was going to be here at 7. You told us, so let me share oh, this. I'm let, so let, me, let me share it because it's if I don't... Talk. They're they're gonna get me. It's just okay. that simple. So let me take the time to share. Yes, for sure. Because yes, some people were they didn't know where to go on Facebook. They didn't know where to go, and I gotta I gotta let me. Okay, cousins. All right, so cousins, I didn't shared it, so y'all see it. And okay, let's get started. All right. So as you all know, to start my show, I do. Fire starters. Fire starters are just a random conversation that you sound off on. Dr. Dorena knows because she's been on my show before. Mm -hmm. And she'll lay it. Uh, now you know, unless you work some of my other shows. All right. So okay. the first fire starter topic is do you sleep with your TV on or off? Oh, that's I sleep with it on. On? On. on. Mm -hmm. that, means that's noise? That's, that means I'm very tired. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even care. You just go to bed and just, I'm done. I don't care if it's on or off. No, because my husband, he'll usually turn it off, you know, because he knows that. He said, I'm going to give you five minutes and you're going out. Now, we were trying to watch, <laughs> we trying to watch the interview with uh, the president on the other night. And I said, I'm going to stay up tonight. I'm going to stay up and then in five minutes, he said, you, were, you weren't even five minutes to be gone. <laughs> I have to have it off. I don't want any noise, no Same. light, anything. Really? I sleep with a Same. pillow over my eyes. I don't want any Same. noise or any light. That's good, though. That's very good. Same. 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 I, but you know what, though? I came across this app called God Abide, and it, it prays for you while you're asleep. So like it'll say oh. scriptures and it'll say, I'm praying that you get rest. I'm praying for healing. And so I kind of oh, listen to that sometimes. Good. But that, that's good. Oh, that's and they're making a killing. That app is like $40. But anyway, oh, $40 to pray for you every night. But yeah. Wow. But you can get on cousins. I'm going to speak over my I'll speak a word over myself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look, they are giving $40 for just doing that advertisement. Right, there. <laughs> right exactly. Hi. Thank you. All right, next fire starter. Okay. Do you feel, okay, this is for both of you all because you travel a lot, okay? Do you feel obligated to talk to the Uber driver? Once you get in the Uber driver, do you just say hello? Or do you feel like you got to say, how are you doing? How was your day? Where are you from? How long you been doing this? I, I'll let you go first. No, you go first. Now, okay. I, 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 I know for me, I it de it depends. Like I try to be kind, but a lot of times when I when we ask for what would you prefer, I would prefer no conversation. You know, just because a lot of times when we're traveling, I might be preserving my voice. You know what I mean? So it's like I don't really want to do like a whole lot of talking and stuff. But if they talk, you know, I try to be polite, but I'll, you know. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, 
Did you not read? Right. <laughs> I, said, I said my preference is no conversation, but yeah. Well, me, I, I don't prefer talking. I really don't, but I, I will be um, conversational uh, if they start a conversation. Like, you know, how are how you, how you doing? You know, now when they start asking, now, what do you do as a professional? Or whatever, I'll be saying, okay, now you're going to be a little bit too comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> now, then I'll get on the phone and I'll be playing. I'll say, hey, hey, how you doing? <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, I was just talking to the Uber driver, but no, what is it? Is it business? Okay, <laughs> all right, okay. And I'll just keep talking until I get out the car. Okay, got <laughs> yeah, it. Personal. Got it. See, I I feel bad if I don't talk to them. If they start talking and I'm like, or because, you know, sometimes they'll talk to you even though you have your AirPods in and stuff. So then I just feel bad. I'll be like, let me just call you back because clearly they want to talk. So clearly. I just clearly. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> all right, nice fire starter. Popeyes, KFC, or Church's Chicken? Popeyes! <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Well, I'm, I'm vegan, so it's uh, none of the above. You're vegan. How long have you been vegan? Are... That's discipline. But I've been, but I heard I heard that Kentucky Fried Chicken has vegan vegan nuggets. I just haven't seen them out, but I've been seeing like they have vegan nuggets. So, how long have you been vegan? I've been vegan a year and a half. Congrats, That's, good, That's why you're skin so pretty. Oh, I'm keep on eating my Popeyes chicken. Oh, please, please. See, I, I always feel just, like yours is just good living, honey. Because no. you're all this, but, I um, always felt like I don't have the discipline to be vegan. But then my friends always say, "You church of God in Christ, y'all used to fast, and that's discipline. Fast right. the Tuesday and Friday." I'm like, yes. no, but we can eat after a certain time, right? And when we eat, eat after a certain time. But you know what? I started, you know what's crazy? I started my vegan journey trying to become Dorinda. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's when it started. That's that when is it really when it started. Cool. I was like, I gotta, I gotta do something. I'm not gonna be able to match what she looked like in the 90s. And the, oh, oh, yes. clothes. Let me that try is, with clothes. Well, you need to tell me it's been a year. A year and a half, cause yeah, cause we a year and a half because we filmed it January twenty eighteen. Wow. Uh, January February twenty eighteen. Wow. That's when we flew well, out. Two here, years. So, yes. Yeah, wow. Right. But so I will say this: mean? I was a vegetarian. I've been a vegetarian my whole life. My mom raised us that way. Oh really? And, wow. Um. So I so I can you know I have to say it wasn't a huge jump, but I do mm -hmm. love my cheese and my milk and. You know, but but the thing is, being vegan in 2020 is so different. There's so many options. There's vegan ice cream and vegan uh, cinnabuns and, Ooh, and cakes, and, and it tastes exactly the same. <laughs> it tastes exactly the same. Okay, well, I might say that. I want to see what you eat. When you come to LA, when you come to LA, when all this is over, I'm gonna take you to a place and you're gonna love it. Okay, I promise. I think I know what you're talking about because nobody else told me something. Really? Well, I got a few places. I got a few okay. places. Shalea is going to help us all become vegans. Y'all heard that. Shalea is going to help us all become vegans. Okay, that ends our fire starter segment. Now, okay. let's jump right in there and let's get to, we want to know Shalea's business. No, I'm kidding. We want to talk about the movie and we want to talk about the Clark sisters. All right. So let's start this off. Shalea. Yes. What made you audition for this part and how did you hear about it? Like I mm. talked to so many people that said, if I would have known they were taking auditions for a Clark sister movie, I would have auditioned. I would have tried out. How did you find out about the audition and what made you go try out? Yeah, you know, it's, it's funny because I heard the opposite. I heard everybody tried out for it. Like everybody wanted to be in this wow. movie. Wow. Um, and, and all different I, I was talking to this this guy who, who's not, you know white guy this is like before everything and he was like you have no idea everybody auditioned for that role wow. everybody, everybody wanted to be in it but i i was working with the director christine swanson on a completely different project and i you know i remember when she got you know signed on to be the director and she said you know i think you should put your name in the hat you know i think you should try it put yourself on tape and um, you know, 
I I tried and I, I was still I was still a little green. I was still a little green. <laughs> You're so sweet. No, um, you wasn't. Don't be sad at the moment. I was green. No, you wasn't. Uh, All your followers were for you. All I have to say, off. your sister, your sister was praying for me. What's your followers called? Huh? My, my followers are Shea Babies. Shea Babies. <laughs> All your Shea Babies were saying, oh, no, you're going to get it, baby. You can get it. <laughs> I know I wanted it. I wanted it. So you said her, so which bad. sister was praying for you? No, yeah, Dorinda's sister Karen. So, so basically, I, I put on tape. They weren't quite sure about me yet. Mm. It wasn't. It wasn't. A, it wasn't yes, but it wasn't a hard no either. Okay. You know, and so I ended up working with this this um, acting coach who I just absolutely adore by the name of Josie Harris, and she um, she we got on tape again, and mm. then in, within a couple weeks, I flew to Detroit to meet with. Um, uh, Karen and Kiera and mm -hmm. you know Christine was like I think you should just come out here and just you know just be just feel the energy didn't have the didn't have the part yet mm. um, but then Kiera and I ended up singing um, Miracle on the piano Met each I other saw that time. video so you didn't That's, even have the you didn't even have the part yet I didn't have the part you was I didn't part have the part okay flew, got you know I, I didn't get flewed out I flew myself out. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I tell people that mm -hmm. all the time. You have to believe in investing yourself mm -hmm. before you expect anybody else to invest in you. So I flew myself out, got my own hotel, you know, all of that. Just saying, like, I got to go all, all the way. Mm. And I think the producers and everybody at Lifetime, when they saw me and Kiera together, I do believe they saw Corinda. Well, you know, I and I think... I think <laughs> That's cute. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. And that's and that's kind of how I think that's when they, you know, they were like, okay, let's let's take a chance on this, this is it. girl. This is it. Excellent. <laughs> you were an excellent choice for it. Thank Auntie Dorinda. She is. Next question is for you. Was there a part of your life, or perhaps maybe the sister's life or your mother's life, that was not in the movie that you mm -hmm. wish would have been in the movie? Oh yeah, there were several parts. Um, uh, of course, I, I, we really did want our brother to be in here, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, who everybody's been talking about. It's like, where is this mystery brother? <laughs> mm -hmm. and so, um, uh, that was one part because my brother, he wasn't around a lot, but you know, because he was the first born. Mm -hmm. People don't know that because mm -hmm. of girls, but he was the first born, so he was, he was spoiled and shocked. <laughs> he got all the attention of my mother, and, and um, at that time, you know, the girls hadn't even got to it, so he just like when the girls start coming, he's like, Oh, she didn't get out. Oh, look at my mother. Right, right. Here coming out. Here come. Oh, my goodness. I don't even have a brother. <laughs> and so he's been like that all of our life. He's always been kind of sheltered away from us because we've always been. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so that was that was one part. And then it was another part where um I thought that they probably could have got a little bit more of our church um when we were children. Okay. That's the core of how it really started. Okay. My we mother was a musician and my dad was a pastor. Mm -hmm. They didn't show that part. Mm. And that's how it really started because, um, and and because they had all of these girls, we were the quiet. Mm. So we we were doing everything. We was um, having the offer plans, going in, <laughs> chicken ready, and we was going getting the ice cream cones ready. And we were going you were the church. <laughs> Listen, I have paid my dues in the church. <laughs> I done done everything from frying chicken, oh God, from washing the toilets, from cleaning up the pews and picking up the pans. You literally are the church. When yes. When people say I am the church, you are the church. I yes. am the church of God in Christ. 
<laughs> you are the oh well then we gonna have the name of church Dorinda. What church you go to? Dorinda Temple Church of God in Christ. Church that's God right. In Christ. <laughs> that's the true school. But that's those are uh, kind of two of the ones that I can kind of think of, and, uh, and probably a little bit of my mom's younger younger days. Okay. Um, before she got into the church, you know, because my mm. mom had met and skating ring. Mm, wow. Had a skating rink, and my wow. father was a bouncer, and my mother was um, was a skater. Wow! So they, that's how they kind of hooked up. And y'all don't know, but all of us can skate. We, I mean, when you say skate, we can turn around back. Oh! We can't do it now. Revival fires. We need to have a revival skate night. No, no, no. no. <laughs> skate, skating with no, the rose. There's too many cameras out there. No, we're not going to do it. <laughs> skate, skating with the rose. Skating with the Dorinda's. Well, we did have that for the uh, for the Rose Connection. Okay, gotcha. Uh, we gotcha. did the Rose Connection, and they got a chance to see me. So my, all my Rose Buzz, they know I can know the gotcha. car. Because we all gotcha. went out to the floor together. Hidden talent. Okay, Shalea, so next question is for you. When you read the script, and of course, I'm sure you already knew about the Clark sisters, knew their lives, um, you know, you knew a lot about them because you were, I don't know if people know it or not, you were a minister of music. Um, I saw a couple of clips of you uh, singing I'm Still Here from years ago. Crazy. Was there anything Crazy. when you read the script and were you like, I, I didn't know the Clark sisters went through all of this. Like, I, I can't believe this happened to them. Were you surprised mm -hmm. when you got the script and started reading their story? I was. I was because I th I think that especially in a time where, you know, they were first coming out and, and just, I think we only knew them by their music. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's how artists really were. You never really knew their story unless they I, were I say that all the time. You know Back what I mean? Then, you didn't know. You only knew the music. Now we know everything. Now we know everything. Now <laughs> you we know see everything. everything. You know where they live, where they drive, who they right. friends with, all yeah. of that, what they cooked last night. But then, yes. and honestly, not to cut you off, Shalea, I feel like that made us really uh, reverence the artists more back then. Mm -hmm. You know, because we did all we knew was their music. We didn't yeah. know. We didn't know their opinion. We didn't know who they voted for. Right. Uh, we didn't. We didn't know anything, you know. So okay, go ahead. I just had to say that. No, you're you're right though. I I think it's 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 almost a catch twenty two. Like it's it's mm. almost like there's a part of you, like you said, you're there's the mystique is kind of gone a little. Okay. Bit, you know, okay. from from an artist. But then on the other side of it, mm -hmm. I think let's just use the "I'm Still Here" song. People would never know, and I think connect with the song, and unless they knew the story behind it. Okay. You know, so I, I feel like sometimes that's what really helps people really get through certain situations mm -hmm. when, when they see their heroes are struggling with some of the same things that they are, and it just makes them more human. You know. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, so so I'll just say yeah, reading the, reading that part of the script, you know, when she you know was was on that bridge and had that scene, I had no idea. I mean, here's this this stunningly beautiful woman oh, on man. the outside, and and you know, beautiful woman on the inside, seeming to have everything. Um, you know, that was surprising, but then it also mm -hmm. just made me love and respect her even more. Absolutely. Like, Wow! Look at look at all that she has been able to overcome, mm. and you know to go to even higher heights. I mm. think because of that, because there's something that happens. I think to your spirit and to your testimony and to just everything um, about you when you go through something and you attract. I think so many more people because people feel that strength. Mm -hmm. They feel that resilience and they feel that connection with God. And so. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So this has nothing to do with the questions that I'm asked. I'm kind of just get off of what I plan to ask <laughs> because I just like to play with the Clark sisters because when, okay, Shalaya, I'm a Clark sister fanatic. Okay. 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 And sometimes I'll be thinking, they just don't know how dope they are. They just don't oh, know. I'm like, do y'all know who y'all are? You groundbreaking, know, so groundbreaking. I was yesterday, and they've been taking their computer classes. Let me let me uh, give kudos to Aunt Jackie because we help her with her media, and Aunt Jackie is really good with her social media. So let yeah. me say that publicly. Aunt Jackie <laughs> is very good with her Instagram, her Facebook. So Go she don't Jackie. Call us, but 
It's so if, you had seen, if you had to see her in class yesterday, we would have we would say you were easy. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. So I noticed they were asking, certain, they were going live with certain followers and asking them um, what songs were on certain albums. And then I'm laughing in my mind, I'm like, they don't, they don't probably even know themselves. They probably got to get to know South. So I'm going to ask um, Auntie Dorinda if she know what songs, of, uh, uh, what albums a few of her songs are on. So let's start with this song. Oh my. I'm Dorinda. What <laughs> album? <laughs> Which album is Time Out on? That's on the BB. BB uh, produced that album. No, 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 no. No. Well, that's not BB. That is, it's, um, it's a it's a EMI. Is it EMI? I'm gonna give you a clue. It's '80s. Time out. I know, but I'm saying the record company. We we go by record companies. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, we don't go by no years. We go by record <laughs> who had the record? Who had the record? Right. I know that's right. Know that that's is right. funny to me. Time oh. out, but. I know that song. Said, I'm not said, doing the record said, EMI, company. EMI, no. that's her answer. EMI. <laughs> no, it's not EMI. Oh, it wasn't Because EMI. E EMI wasn't out back then. Where's Ken Pennell? Where was Ken Pennell? Ken. 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 <laughs> not EMI. Hold yeah. on. What were the records? What, what, was it a big, was it a major record? Like, was it Sparrow? <laughs> Sparrow. Was it Sparrow? Was it Sparrow? It probably was Sparrow. It might have been Sparrow. Yes, it was Sparrow. Thank you, Shalaya. My <laughs> I don't know how I did that. I, was <laughs> I wasn't no help. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was, yeah, it was uh, Sparrow. Okay. So, so which album was it on? What album? Yes, ma'am. Conqueror. 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 Who? No. Mm -mm. It wasn't Conqueror. What album was Conqueror. it? Heart and Soul. I want my fans. I want my fans. <laughs> Where the rose was? Heart and Soul. It was on Heart and Soul. That's right. Heart and soul. Heart and soul, okay. Oh, I feel so bad. No, I forget <laughs> not knowing it. Right? You you Which? make too much music. You get to forget that. Shalea's here to defend you. That's Shalea's right. Here. That's right. I'm only gonna give you one more. I'm not gonna give you more. I'm only gonna give you one more. Okay? Well, this quiz is good. It's, it's good. See, I'm gonna have to do this with all the sisters. Okay. You ask Shalea next. <laughs> ask Shalea. <laughs> Which album is Overdose of the Holy Ghost one? That's for you. <laughs> That's for you, too. I, I, I know it's on Miracle. I know it's on Miracle, the one that BB produced. Um, uh, her, her remake of... That Jesus is the best thing. thing that ever happened. I just changed this. I just changed the question. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> she she, she gave me time to think. I know that one because that goes way back. That that goes way back. Overdose, yeah, you know, those was that's the one with um Jesus got a lot to give. Computers. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It's you brought the sunshine. You brought the duh. <laughs> oh. That's still way back. I, I want to give you one more to redeem yourself. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry. I, I, let me, okay. I'm a, I think this is going to be easy. Stop apologizing. You don't need to apologize. For I that. know, but I want you to know that we. <laughs> Trying to remember, but it's hard. You <laughs> made the record. You made the, that's all you that's it. To do, that's show it. Up and make these timeless records. That's, that's it. it. I, that's right, Shalea. Okay, one more. I'm gonna I'm do an easy one. I was gonna do one that might be kind of hard, 
I'm gonna do an easier one. If Twinkie was here, Twinkie would she would know it. She would know. Would she get Twinkie over here. Twinkie. Right. <laughs> okay, so I'm okay. I won't let go. Which album is that on? I won't let go. Tell you that's not so. Um. <laughs> Which one is the one that's got the gold and we send it? Is that the one with the blue? Is that the queen? You, 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 that the record. you said the album earlier. Conquer? Yeah. Conquer. Conquer. <laughs> I don't know how I knew that one. I don't know how I knew that one. Conqueror. But okay, I know this isn't your question, but can we talk about like the the miracle album because I know that was the first one you guys did without Twinkie. Right, right. So how was that? We saw the yeah. clip in the movie. Like it's just not the same. Did you did you all really want to do that album, or was there a part of you like I don't want to do it? Well, we wanted to do it only because um, we wanted to prove to Twinkie that you know this is what Mama wants. Mm. For us. Yes. Right. It hurts to see that we cannot let just one person mess up, if I can say, dynasty or mess up the list. Mm. Yes. You know, at, at that time, I don't know if I remember, but at that time, that was, that was when my mother had her reputation. Mm. So we were really like, oh God, we got to, you know, because Mama kept saying, y'all just sit together, don't worry about this, mm -hmm. go you know, she just kept telling us that, but mm -hmm. we had a goal set that we were going to do this and let Quincy see, oh no, we're going to make this way out. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So that was, it was really to kind of let Quincy know that we wanted her, but, you know, she made a choice mm -hmm. to not do it. But we still want to heard that um, this is what mom is. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It, it has some of my favorite vocal performances mm. of you guys. Like, like seriously, like um, your vocal performance on the remake of Jesus is the best thing that ever oh. happened. That's honestly, that's probably like top three of like your vocal performances for me. It's so hard to nail them down because I'm, I'm still here. You know, of course, it, I love you on Jesus is a love song on, on, on Karen's version, but it is something about you singing Jesus, your, your ad libs on that. I mean, I used to, I used to listen to that over and over and over again. Like I, I was so young and it was just, it would do something to my, my heart, you know, if you ever had something good. Yeah. Starts going off, and you you got your when we had yeah, our walk with, and we're like, I'm like yeah, wait, right. wait, wait. <laughs> oh my god! But okay, speaking of that album, because the way that um, Dorinda was on the Clark Sisters album was always that funky type of song, you know. Yes. But when we got Miracle, it started with "It's Gonna Be All Right," right? Yes. The slower song. Yeah. And yes. what's, the, what's the guy say? Hey, Dorinda. Well, how does it? I used to know the talk <laughs> so far. And then Dorinda said, yeah, Mike. Or Karen said, yeah, Mike. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I knew the talking part and everything on that. Oh, it's going oh, to be all right. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. But what's so amazing about that project is, of course, we love Twinkie. We definitely love Twinkie. But yes. the, with just Karen, Dorinda, and Jackie, that album was still amazing. Wow. That was, was. Like the hottest project of the yes. 90s. Yes. Still this day. And that's to this day. To this day. They give us timeless and, music. And, and really quick too, I, I you said BB B, B produced the whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because to me, the vocal that he got out of Karen on Simply Yes too. Hey. Was, I had never I had never oh. heard a voice so tender and like 
But the lyrics to that song, could there still be a chance left for me? Yes. Is that all the things my soul Woo! needs? This Woo! is the day. My heart longs for always. Who wrote that song? That right there? Okay. Yes. But let me get, but okay, let's yes. talk about this song. Oh, but let's talk yes. about No oh, Doubt. My goodness. I'm telling you, that album, I just, I studied that album and I just, you know, it's crazy that like the, the vocals that you were attracted for me, the vocals that I was so drawn to attracted to, like I remember every little nuance. It still so hits me all these years later, like the same things affect me. The, it, like when it comes back, it's like, oh, wait, like, oh. I love that. Like, <laughs> that it makes you want to love crazy. them all over again. We, but you know what? It's so crazy that she said that because just the other day, we were listening to that album because my mm. friend, Nikki, she loves that album. Mm -hmm. and, and when I heard um, Karen say, could they still be there? Oh. That right there. That don't even sound like Karen, but like you said, Chalea, BB really walked her through that to make it more commercial. Okay. Yes. And That's let's talk about right. No Doubt. How he yeah. stretched Jackie on No Doubt. Yes. Okay. So I didn't yes. know. Yes. I didn't know until I posted this song a few months ago. I was saying I was listening to it, and Donna Lawrence said, "I wrote that song. I completely forgot about that." I said, "You wrote No Doubt." Yes. Oh, I yes. know that. Uh -huh. That's just so. That's amazing. Yes. But uh, go back to simply yes. Uh, Tasha Page Lockhart has a video on YouTube singing it, and she kills it as well. Ooh, it's I a video of her singing so simply yes. And it's also a video of her singing "Awesome" that Twinkie Clark on Twinkie Clark's project. Oh, Lord, God. you are so awesome. Tasha oh, Pace Lockhart kills it. Kills both of them. I love that song, with Twinkie. Mm, yes, it's a, good, it's a good song. And you know what? It set it set it set her up for years later to me, just for me. Yes, just for me. Yeah, she used that same texture again. <laughs> Mama studies. Mama oh, studies. I'm telling you. Mama. Absolutely. That's okay, so amazing. what characteristics do you and Auntie Dorinda have that are the same? And of course, you all look alike. So when you go places, do people say Dorinda? Is that you? Oh, right. Well, I haven't. We I haven't been out because we always have masks that's on. All, that's true. You know, but I will say, I right before the pandemic hit like crazy, I went and I did the Dorinda show. And it was it was surreal because we were it was like <laughs> it was so weird. It felt like I was looking in a mirror. It was like it was it was almost like like I was in like another like a twilight zone. It was like everything everything like I was we would respond the same way to the same stuff. Wow. And um you know, it's to me, she is someone, and I, I've said this many times, you know, um, other than my mama, who I love, I, I, there's no other person I would I would mm. love to be connected with. Mm. She's just, she's the real deal. You know, like what you see um, is what you get when you experience her. So mm -hmm. so that, that just the, that warmth. And um, the humility. The wow. humility, and that's how that's how I, that that's all how the I sisters have. And mm -hmm. I'm like, wait a minute, do y'all know that you're the Clark sisters? Like, do you know? <laughs> and what's so awesome about the Clark sisters, Shalea, is that I've never seen this happen to where you know a lot of times people get familiar with the artist. You know, mm -hmm. they've been with this artist for a day. They're like, oh, that's Jay Z, or oh, that's uh, Yolanda Adams, or that's this artist, and they get comfortable. Mm -hmm. Nobody gets comfortable with the Clark sisters. I don't care how many interviews you do. I don't care how many times you see them and work for them. You're still mesmerized. Like that, yeah. that a Clark sister just called my phone. Well, yeah. you talk to them all the time. I don't care. That's still a Clark sister. They're hanging up in my bedroom. Their record is on my wall. That's a, and they just called me. You never lose that respect. And that's true. That's true. Makes you want to love them more. So I have a a Clark sister stalker story. I don't know if I want to tell on myself tonight. Okay, because let me you say this. I'm here. You, what you say? Tell on yourself. <laughs> so, Dorinda, I can't say this around the other sisters, but growing up, Dorinda was my favorite Clark sister. When I tell you, 
I was Dorinda crazy at every convention. So many if people think was in, everybody, I everybody in tells Illinois. me that. Everybody if Dorinda was in St. Louis, I had to, somebody had to take me there. Dorinda was Chicago, I got to go there. Dorinda you was on the crazy. list, I got to be there. I was reading all the credits. Well, did Dorinda do something on the project then? Okay, so... Y'all rosebuds, y'all ain't got Beyonce fans ain't got nothing on Clark Sister fans. Jackson fans ain't got nothing on Clark Sister fans. Beano fans ain't got nothing. So let me tell y'all what I did. What you do? What you say, IT? <laughs> so I think I was about 10. And this was about the time we started, I started going to the convocation with my family in Memphis. Okay. Mm -hmm. I heard my pastor, my former pastor at that time, always talked about the Peabody Hotel. They always uh -huh. talk about the Peabody Hotel and the Chiska or something that's, hotel. That's right, the Chiska Hotel. Chiska Hotel, always. <laughs> so I'm getting all this Kojic history. And I'm like, well, if the Peabody Hotel is, you know, the best hotel that all the grand people stay at, uh -huh. Dorinda must stay at the Peabody Hotel. Uh -huh. I'm like 10 or 11, Shalaya. Oh, so, my gosh. So, what you, so I, one year... <laughs> I got smart and I said, you know what? I'm going to call the Peabody and I'm just going to ask for Dorinda. And because I want to hear this lady on the phone, Rosebud, cousin, Shea Baby. I was, I'm going to be 34. This, I think I was 10. So don't y'all be doing this now. Don't y'all be trying to look at my name. <laughs> so <clears throat> I called, I looked up, I 411. Y'all know we was 411. Oh, man. Man, hotel called the front desk is evangelist dorinda clark cole there and they transferred me to her y'all it makes no sense that this lady a, a, a 10 year old 11 year old stalker called her how nice she was to me she oh. said, hello and i was like i'm such a big fan of yours and i i just want to see you and and she gave me info she gave me her email address she was like, um, she said something to me about the Clark Conservatory School that was still going, because that was, oh, I was 10, gosh. so that was well into the 90s. She was so nice to me. Wow. Now, I'm looking at that like, she should not have been that nice to me. She should have been like, who is this? Get off the phone. This is my privacy. You know? Stop playing on my phone. Yeah, stop <laughs> calling the hotel. Who does that? Who calls the hotel to stop oh, one of the Clark A, su a super fan. A uh, uh, super fan. fan. My mother would always tell us, these are the people mm -hmm. that buy her out. Mm. Never shoot them in the mm. Wow. Always See like embedded in our head, like you better not, even if they, they say, can I have your autograph? You better, I mean, you better take the time. I'm walking by and give them that autograph and take a picture with them. And I think but that's the key. But that's mm -hmm. key, though. I mean, I, you look at some of the artists now mm -hmm. who, you know, you kind of see them in the news and they don't want to do the meet and greets and they don't want to do, mm -hmm. you know, just kind of different things like that. And I get it's it's different for just sometimes it's just overwhelming. Sometimes you just want to do what you signed up for. It's what you signed up for. Absolutely. Sure. And sometimes people have they don't they you know, they're not capable like, you know, right. Um, just mentally, they're not capable mm. to handle all of that. Mm. But what you just said earlier um, about why you still have that that reverence for them mm. is because I think it is because for for decades mm -hmm. they have made their hearts available mm -hmm. to each of these all the way up. Absolutely. You know? And so people will always kind of think of them in this this high honored, revered way, you know, because of how they have made us feel for decades, you know, right. and that, that and your mom, before anything else, she was a businesswoman, mm -hmm. and she knew that, you know, she, I know she served in the church and, and all that, but she had a business mind, mm -hmm. yes, she, she had did. a business mind, and I think that's what made her light years away from everybody, and I think that's why the legacy that you guys have today is for what she put in you guys mm -hmm. Absolutely. You were when you were kids, literal yeah, children, you know right. what I mean? Right. Absolutely. So Auntie Dorinda, what is the hardest thing about being a Clark sister? Ooh. Uh, <laughs> that right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll set it up for you. <laughs> and then, I mean, because 
we have to, um, I mean, these these people, I mean, when I looked at it yesterday when we were in the computer class and how um, our teacher was telling us, okay, I want everybody to go online separately, online. Mm -hmm. And just to see that we could one of the time, uh, which was one, of, I think it's the one that I had for my life. And when I said, to her, okay, you're having this small conversation, she was like, mesmerized. Oh my God. Mm. You know, and that right there, mm. it, really, it really brings feels to you to, to see that people really, if we think of this with like what kind of next we're going to do or anything, really Absolutely. Ever, you know, we feel the same thing now that they're feeling. The only thing different is that we touch. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we're able to touch them like this. Right. So, right. Uh, being on social media and being able to talk to them, I, want, I see now that a lot of people are there, and you can correct me if I'm wrong. Now that the celebrities are starting to engage themselves with their fans mm -hmm. on social media. Mm -hmm. And yes. so that's the food because these people are going to support you no matter what you do. That's you right. Know, Era in which we still now absolutely going around like a wildfire and it's mm -hmm. also fan base and has and then people are following constantly following them until you get old. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know yeah. so you you all have never it seems like allowed yourself to get comfortable with the success. Mm. No, that's what it seems like. It seems like you're just so. When I say that, that means you just don't take it for granted at all. No, you can never, mm. never because you could be up this day. Mm. God forbid if anything happens where there is an accident, um, and we're not able to do none of this. Mm -hmm. uh, every moment, every second is 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 time to say I love you. Mm. You know. Everybody that's watching, I love mm -hmm. you because you support mm -hmm. you know? And that's what's so important. I mean, just to be able to see Shalea and how he's playing mm -hmm. a part of a, of a person who has been out here a long time, but then yet still, she still kind of reverence, mm -hmm. you know, what he's done. Absolutely. And you don't find people like that. You don't. You don't. You know? Saying so that's that's the point. That's why it's so important to take time with um, people that constantly connects with you know. Mm -hmm. like what, I'm doing with your what I'm doing with my rose, what the is doing with her. <laughs> <laughs> it's so important. That's right. That's, right. that's why it's really important to find out what's going on with each other so that mm -hmm. if anybody says anything negative, we're able to correct it. That's right. Mm. That's right. Mm. Absolutely. Mm. That's why all of this stuff that you see on the internet and people giving you these comments, they don't know the people. Mm -hmm. they, don't, wow. they, don't know, they don't know the artists because they wouldn't say damn mm. it. That's right. That will, you know, that will cause a risk. To make the artist feel like really, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. right? You know right. what I'm saying? Right. So uh, just just little tips that we just need to kind of just correct in the industry, so that mm -hmm. we're just hearing about somebody and we're, we're mm -hmm. wasting your time. There's too much going on right now. That's right. Over night, and they may show up at your house. You know, you just never know. That's right. You don't have to be up your trying to figure out what you're showing so exactly. No, this is all about trying to be living. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You're right. <laughs> That's here. right. That's <laughs> right. That's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So Shalea, hmm. well, cause you know I'm a talker, so I'm gonna cause I know it might be Dr. Dorinda's bedtime because she's it's 905 there. <laughs> so, so I want to. I don't want to overdo I'm gonna it. Watch the president. I'm going to watch the president. See what he's doing now. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, okay. come up well, with now. That. Are you oh, wearing your mask? Condolences. Your Mercedes died. 
Yes, my mercy. After you preached about, after you preached about her, she died. Are you yes. telling me we, we even drive the same car? I didn't no. know you were Mercedes. I drive a Mercedes too. The Wenda and the Wenda. Right. Right. The right. and the right. Literally. We need a, we need our matching. We need a matching our matching Mercedes. <laughs> right. We do. We do. We, we we're gonna get it one day. We're gonna have it together. Then we'll be able to. Oh, okay. We gotta take our picture in front of them, like just like. <laughs> right. Right. Yes. There you go. So, Shalea, what do you have coming up? What can we expect from you? In 2020, 2021, what are you working 20, on? 2020, I mean, I think right now that we're all just kind of in a free fall right now. We're just mm -hmm. trying to figure out, you know, what, what's next. But I feel like, you know, we have to adapt because this, this is what this is what it is. You know, it's going to be this way for a while, I think. Mm -hmm. And so I've, I've got some virtual shows coming up. I just did Excellent. one for... Um, for Birmingham a couple uh, weeks ago, I'll be doing some for Florida. And so Excellent. Um, just, you know, doing some, some mm -hmm. of those virtual shows and um, just recording new music. I'm, I'm awesome. very creative right now. Mm -hmm. You know what? Somebody told me in, in the comments today, they said, you and Dorinda should do a song together. And I have Absolutely. I have Absolutely. never thought about that, but I was thinking that would be so good. We should get somebody you know, to write it, or we can write it together, or get Kirk to write yes. it. Like, almost like a song, like, you know, you talking to your younger yeah. self. Mm -hmm. so That's so dope. Something to wear, like, Absolutely. I feel like that would be so dope. But anyway. That would be. That would be. So that I, don't would know, be. I don't know who we need to get on that. Right. <laughs> you okay, get on it. Just, you, up, Kirk. Kirk. you just spoke it, so you get on it tomorrow. You make the calls that need to be made and you get on it. <laughs> That's that. right, Shalea. You started. Well I don't I don't I don't I don't know I don't know people in that world that much. So yes. that that would have to be a call that they that you well you I, work I, with Quincy Jones, Shalea. That's right. Call you work with Quincy Jones so call you Quincy. use that world. So, um, so tell so tell Quincy to call Kirk Franklin <laughs> <laughs> tell him to do something you work with that world Shalea. <laughs> Global hey, we, we can write it. You wrote I'm still here. I wrote Love Fell on Me. We can write it together. Right. Yeah. Writers too. That's good. We could do that. Um, you there probably you have, have it. I already probably have something in the can that she's gonna pull out tonight. I'm prophesying. No, but I would I would want it to be so specific <laughs> to like us, like just some like mm. again, like based on the movie, you you speaking to the younger Dorinda, mm. you know, spiritually, you know, so, something that you will be encouraging your encouraging yourself. Yeah, and that would be like that answer to, you know, just okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Something like right what, people say, what people say. What would you tell your younger Dorinda? What would you tell yes. Dorinda fifteen years ago? Something like yeah. that. that would yes. Be awesome. that and, would David, and, and David Foster did a song like that. It was it was a song called "Tell Him." that he did with Celine Dion and Barbara Streisand because because wow. Celine worshiped Barbara and so wow. they did and Barbara worshiped Judy Garland so when, when you know Judy Garland and Barbara did a song together and then and then Celine and Barbara did a song together called Tell Him and that's what it was it was this this you know this woman who was speaking to you know this Almost like her younger self telling her mm -hmm. to, you know, tell tell the the person, tell the guy how she truly felt. So we could we could make that into, you know, a, a gospel version of just you know what absolutely. you would want to tell yourself. So oh, that's so anyway, absolutely. that's what's going on. That's absolutely, good. That's, that's very good. And I want to do more yeah. acting. I want to do more acting too. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm. So you're open myself. for whatever. I'm open. You're I'm open. so open. Yeah. Auntie Dorinda, what you working on? Well, let me let me tell you what you should be working on. We ah! want a solo project. <laughs> we want a solo project. Um, you got to get ASAP to write another one on there. Get Derek Starks to write you another one on there. Yes. Um, we want you to Love remake the name of Jesus. This is how our fans be to us. <laughs> See, and, and this is the thing. The fans know what they want. So they can just tell you, this is what people want. This is what they're going to like. But I want you to redo. I want you to re-record. It's in the name of Jesus. Oh my God! That's I, that's what I want. That's gonna be the song that you have the sisters um, on there. Um, also, this is what else you should be working on. I want the Clark sisters to add 
Jesus the same yesterday, forevermore, onto their set list. <laughs> and it, wait, it's another one that I wanted you all to add to your set list. Oh my gosh, it just escaped me. It wasn't, was it, it's in the name of Jesus? Well, I, I know I want you to re record that, but Jesus forevermore, I want the, oh, I made it. That's because I'm talking to you. I made it. That was on Twinkie's Home Again record. Yeah. So everybody got a piece on there yes. that they can do. So I love you. that song, but my sisters will not do that song because they don't know the word. But my <laughs> sisters will not do that. <laughs> we'll get screamed. And I think that song, I think it's so befitting for right now. Um, it's, I'm glad yes. you it. So I'm with I, I'm See, if y'all can do Look to the Hills, you can do I Made It. All those oh, lyrics. Yes. 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 So add oh. that to, but since I had a takeover spirit, Aunt Dorinda, what are you working on? You said everything I'm doing. <laughs> oh, I was prophetic. I was prophetic. Wow. I prayed before this interview. But no, seriously. No, I am working on my album. Um, of course, you know, right now it's in, and I know Celia can uh, test the same thing. It's just so hard to try to find a studio to go into because of COVID. And so I'm kind of afraid to go into people's houses. <laughs> I know that. I'm, 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 and it's so funny because uh, this last week, um, where um, Clark's has been singing on uh, PJ Morton's uh, new album that's coming out, right? Awesome. Uh, so I was, oh, I was that's be so good. Go in there and cut my cut my part because he wanted me to do the song. So I was like, PJ, I said, oh, I don't know about these studios to me. I can't be going to go here. <laughs> <laughs> and first of all, this you couldn't do it because he was working with Kiara's um, mm. And I was like, oh, go ahead, somebody find out. I said, oh, no, I'm scared. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Say, okay, I got you. I got you. So he made the time and the space where we can go back there by ourselves and mm. do it. So that's how we were able to do it. But I'm I'm just so afraid to do anything right now or even have anybody come in my home because mm. you know we're all wearing masks. We don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Absolutely. So careful about that. But but that's what I'm working on. Um, shout out to James Robinson who has really been pulling at me for one and other team. I've been slow enough. I'm sorry, James. <laughs> COVID goes from where I had itself. I was still peeking out. <laughs> but I'm doing that, and then I've got some other things that I'm working on. Um, I don't want to let out the bomb. Out the head out the box. What is it? The cat out the head. What is it? <laughs> cat out the bag. Yes, I don't want to do that yet. So, <laughs> yes, so, so I'm just going. I'm just gonna let y'all just see that y'all know. Of course, my role is to probably know it before anybody else. But it's just keep watching. No, 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 no. Your rosebuds won't know. Marquise and his cousins. Uh, are going I know, to know cousins. Before the rosebuds, the shade base, no. Ooh, don't start now. Y'all always, y'all always find out what's going on, Mister Rinda. I know. <laughs> Rosebuds, y'all go. So Marquise will know, and I will tell the Rosebuds. That's how we're going to do that. But you know, but but uh, also, Marquise, we got, um, of course, the Clark sisters got the virtual tour coming up as well. Awesome. Uh, happening in August. So um, they're going to And so we're excited about that. And, uh, you know, all these rehearsals that we're doing. So it's it's, it's going to be really nice. And I know y'all been looking at the just been off. Hey, it's absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. Excellent. We are ready for this virtual tour because this new album, I, I don't even have time to get into that because so I listen to He Can all day, every day. Oh. This, just, let me say this. I don't know what kind of meeting all four of y'all had before y'all went in that studio, but it's like <laughs> y'all met before each studio session and said, y'all, let's just sing. Let's just, just give it all right. from the background. Right. And I'm listening to it like, did they really just feel like singing like this? The background to the lead vocals to just everything was just amazing. It was just phenomenal. Really? 
this they record, can't they can't help but sing like that you know like when you when you think about like this is the group that gave us like Hi, oh, yeah. I mean, like that. That is like wow. That is so timeless. Like that. That's the same group. So it's like, of course, of course. I mean, like it's, it's like it's just like breathing to this. It, it just you know it I mean? makes no sense. And and yeah, Clark sister fans, I want to say this. Y'all yeah. talk about harmonies. Of course, we talk about for the love of the people. Oh, come on now. Come we on. talk about Jesus is a love song. Ooh, but for the love but, of the people, though, can we just can we park on that one though? Because okay, that, park. Thank you, Shalaya. Thank no, you, Shalaya. Because that is so. I mean, the things that they're doing, like oh. I have, I have, I have everybody's part memorized. Like everybody's wow. doing something crazy. That, that, I mean, it's, it's just all these things. <laughs> Come on, Shalaya. Just all these things that are fine. Who does that? All these key changes. Do you know how much money I would have paid to be in a rehearsal with them back then? I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, Nobody can. That's why the Clarkses are the Clarkses. Jesus is a love song. Yes. But oh. now, okay, I need the fans to focus on this song. That's kind of you got to be a Clark sister fan to appreciate yes. this song in the harmony. Yes. Now is the time. Off of the oh, Is My Living in Vain album. Oh God. Oh, that right there, Twinkie. What were you thinking? What were you thinking? What Twinkie? Twinkie. What in the Twinkie. world? Okay. Yeah. Never mind. Who writes the song called Never Mind? Never mind. Okay. Okay. Do that. Oh, don't be blind. Do that little run in there. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> oh, God. And you know, when we hear it now, we be saying, oh, we sound a mess. Are you serious? No. What? We be saying, we was listening to it. Me and Karen was listening to it the other day. She's like, Ooh, we need to go back and do all of them songs over. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but no, let me say this. But it was innocent. It, it was, was innocent. innocent. Oh, and number two, God. what I loved about the music back then, it wasn't overproduced. Yeah. It was real singing. It wasn't the vocals weren't stacked. It nope. wasn't. That was just y'all in a room. Hear it in person. That was just them in a room. It don't sound the same. Wow. It's, it's just the music back then. It was, okay, patience. On Count It All Joy album, who was oh. Twinkie, What was going on in your mind? What was going on? I think the what was going on at that piano while she was teaching y'all? What did you know back then that y'all was just bomb like that? Did you no. know that? Like, oh, we the dark no. sister. No, no, no. The song, what's the song? I've got a feeling everything's gonna be all right. You remember that one? Yes. Huh? Do you remember Mike, that one? Mark. I can't hear. My thing just went out. See there? That's oh, what no! It just went out. Now I can't hear what you're saying. You can't hear me. I've got it. Can you hear me? We can hear you. We can hear okay, you. Okay, I'm just going to read your lips. Because okay. I don't want to mess it up. Oh, no. Go fix it. Do I need to go off and come back on? Yeah, we'll stay here. Okay, Hurry I'll up. be right back. Okay, I'll okay. Now, Dorinda, you're clear because it was an echo going on, and I thought you had two devices. No, I don't. This is no, just, don't go off. Now it's completely clear. Yeah, it's Marcus. I can't hear you at all. Tell Javon, what is his name? Javon? The devil is a liar. I'm just going to read your lips. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll talk I, that's slow. not fun. We'll if you go out, <laughs> would it, would it, would it um, if you go out, like, would it discon disconnect us? All of us. If let's you see. go, okay. Out. I can listen. If you know what, <laughs> you. I got another phone. I'm gonna listen go. to you from my other phone. Hold there on. you go. There you go. 
The devil is just the devil is just busy. Where is your devil? But Dorinda, but Dorinda I'm so glad whatever he did, it made you clear because everybody was complaining that yours had an echo. There go Javon. Javon, help us. Hi everybody. Hey. So I can't hear it. So what's gonna what's gonna happen is Marquise is gonna leave and he's gonna come back and I am going to just kick him out of the studio real quick. But okay. he's gonna be right back, I promise. Okay. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and teach you guys a new song. It's called oh, Marquise is a is a Clark fan. Ah, what is it? And the, the words are real simple. What is it? Uh, I'm just saying, but he'll be oh, he'll be back it. momentarily. Oh, oh. Uh, I thought it was gonna be Marquis no. is a clock fan. <laughs> oh, yeah. Marquis is a clock fan. Yeah. You oh yeah. <laughs> He's not back again. You not back though, baby. You You're still need back. it. You ain't back. We can't hear you. Marquis, can you hear us yet? You can hear me. Can you hear Dorinda though? That's the most important. Can you can hear Dorinda. You can hear Shalea. One. Can you hear me? Can Can you all hear Marquis? No, we can't hear him. I can't hear you, Marquis. Does he have it on mute? Okay, he's gonna leave and come back out again. Marquis. Okay, a good job. Ma <laughs> okay, so so Dorinda, Dorinda. <laughs> I didn't know Mercedes was your dog. I thought yes. you were your, I thought you were saying a car. I'm sorry. No, Mercedes is my dog. Oh, I have Mercedes so since sorry. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. 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 Okay, so Mercedes is a dog. Is yes. a dog? Yes. I didn't get that. <laughs> Mercedes is a dog. <laughs> but Auntie just went with it. She said, no, no, I thought she said she was she was driving Mercedes. Mercedes. <laughs> when you said when you said you Mercedes, I thought you said your Mercedes died. So I thought like maybe the car like you know died. Because I always say that about my cars, like, oh my car died or whatever. No, no Mercedes is her dog. dog. It's my dog. It's the dog that I was preaching about in A. Yeah, we went live and she was preaching. Well, she actually, the Rosebuds found it for me. She's preached about her dog, Mercedes, in a few messages, like a lot of Aww. sermons. And so I had her preach about it on one of my lives. And then a few weeks later, I found out that Mercedes died, the Rosebuds. Yeah, yes, yeah, she died. Is, that's so like losing a person. I think she had coronavirus. <laughs> No, because let me tell you how. <laughs> very, very close to Mercedes, but just like, you know, it was first my dog, she was about this small. She was very Aww. sweet. She grows, she grows, she grows. Then we had, of course, you know, we had the house fire. We had the house fire. They, the firemen went in and they were looking for Mercedes. They, um, Nikki and Jay said, we have one more, um, we got our dog in there. So mm -hmm. the car came in, they called it Mercedes. Mercedes. Mercedes came out, and she came out, I always send her the message. She came out with her hand because she came out like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Mercedes baby. has been with me since 2008 and the other, who was that? Maybe about, maybe about a month or two ago, she passed away. And what happened was, we was trying to figure out why she was breathing so bad. And we thought, mm -hmm. respiratory problems, like the coronavirus. The coronavirus, the coronavirus, the coronavirus. <laughs> no. So my husband took me to the hospital. We took me to the hospital. The nurse said, well, okay, let me just give you something so that you calm her brain down. When she got back into the car um, on the way home, she started breathing like that again. So he was just saying, I don't know what she's doing. And I said, come on, the dog. She was supposed to be breathing like that. And he ain't breathing. I ain't heard a dog breathing like that in a long time. So he took her back to the hospital. And then they said, well, we got to have to put her to sleep. So 
Oh. So you want a new dog? No, I'm not. <laughs> because, because because you don't because are you still sad or because you just don't want that responsibility? I'm sad and I don't want to. <laughs> No, no, it is. You're right. But the, only thing, yeah, but the only thing about this is that I have white carpet. I have white carpet in my other house. But I got white carpet here. And, and I told my thing, I said, no, do not use the bathroom on my phone. I'm going to spank you like that. And when I say that, she just gets really nervous. So she don't like to see me come around, so she just she thought I was her worst enemy. <laughs> but then she would do things on purpose, like just pee on the floor, and like when I wasn't around, she would just pee on the floor, like I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you something. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and so and so when that happened, I was just like, I, we can't be on your dog. So right, right. Do your grandchildren want another dog? Do Cash no. and want another dog? Nah, <laughs> they're too busy. They won't even be able to take the dog out. Mm -mm. So, no dogs. Uh, we yeah, good with dogs. Dogs, dogs right. are a big responsibility. It is. It really is. Yeah. You got to come home. And they're expensive. Gone all the time, you know. And then my husband, he, you know, he had a little part time job, and so we were hard to hear. And then looking them, you know, they grown and gone. They they study about coming home to take the dog. <laughs> Mercedes oh. was fitting for herself. Right. Oh, Mercedes, so Mercedes. Was independent. Right, right, right. But no, so we're done with dogs. We've had I I've had my share. <laughs> <laughs> so Shalaya, what's your favorite song on the new project? Ooh, there's so many. I can't choose. It's impossible. I know. I have each week. I have a different favorite song. It it changed. Now it's interesting. Their older songs, I feel like I can choose a little bit more. I, I okay. think maybe because um, you know them. Hmm. You know them. That's. I think that's probably what it is. They're they're they, they got in. They yeah. got in. They yeah. got in. And I think also doing the movie too like there's there's certain songs that i associate like with certain scenes that just really took me so like for a long time um nothing to lose mm -hmm. because that's that's at that for okay let's talk about that song the lyrics that right there that song has the best lyrical content than any other song that i i have walked in the rain mm -hmm. Like Paul, I have, this. and again, I Twinkie, what was going on in your head when you were yes, writing sir. this down? Uh, Twinkie. Twinkie was an amazing, it is an amazing writer. Yes. Just a genius. Uh, yes. You know, yes. Even when you think about that, Jesus on the chain. So who would think of that? Yes. Yes. My Lord, the pain. Yeah, <laughs> but it's, it's, the, it's the chords that go yeah. with it too. Like that's what like brings the lyric to life because it's like her her chord choices and the mel and the melodic choices there. It's like it just it's just like it's so crazy because you're 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 telling to unhook the chains that you want to be set free, but it just right. makes you so emotional. Mm -hmm. And when they and they chose that song for that scene, you know, at you know, as we we're walking in the the processional for your for your mom's funeral, right. Right. and so it's like it just has that. It kind makes of, you, you feel just, you kind just of cry. like right. with, with, during that scene, we all just kept crying, like real tears, because it was like it was like the song, the mm -hmm. song was making us cry every single take. Wow. I'm gonna ask this, Doctor Dorinda, and I'm gonna get off, y'all, because I've been running my mouth, and I know she gotta go. <laughs> no, I don't want to leave Shalea. <laughs> I don't want to leave Dorinda. Okay, Let's well then, look, rosebuds and shades and cousins. Okay, <laughs> so this wasn't in the movie, but when mm -hmm. Doctor Clark, I don't know if um, rosebuds and shades and cousins, if you knew, knew this, but Doctor Clark's leg was amputated. Yes. So how he, did she told okay, me that? So when you went through that, and the doctor tells you, tells you, okay, your mom's gonna have to get her leg amputated. Mm -hmm. How was that? Did, oh. did you have to go through that? And she still, you could go on YouTube, find videos of her still directing the choir. 
Right. You know, yes. in the wheelchair, or you see a uh, videos of her directing the render right next to her. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. directing the choir. Yes. You know. So, how did that? When you went to the doctor with her, and they said you had to amputate her leg. Can you tell us a little bit about oh, that? That was, that was a horrible. Um, well, you know, when you get news from the doctor like that, mm -hmm. sometimes, especially when you can't do anything about it, you know, mm -hmm. it's like mm -hmm. you're at the, the end. And see, we, we watched our mother because um, when the doctor first said that gangrene had set up in her foot, mm -hmm. actually, her toe first. Okay. And it got in the foot. And then we, I mean, we were praying, Lord, to get went on fast and everything was like Lord come on we need to do something. Mm -hmm. you know, we just couldn't we couldn't fathom mm -hmm. her without her foot because she was always going. You know, she was always moving and then to stand up and direct and we just couldn't see her doing this mm -hmm. without her leg. Mm -hmm. And when we got the news, I mean it was we were very, very emotional about it because mm -hmm. it's like you know, our mom, and they said when that happens, <clears throat> your whole body changes. Mm. So we didn't know how she was going to be, even was she going to try to give up, mm. or was she going to, you know, to continue on the work that she was doing. Mm -hmm. And I was, at that time, I was like, um, you know, right by her side, mm -hmm. wheelchairing her everywhere. Mm -hmm. And it was just it was difficult because I watched my mom and was like there were times when she wanted to get up off the street and say, you know how you see that part right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you end up on three got a foot. You know, you think about it now, it's, it's really funny. The girl mm -hmm. up, and then, then she then she would say this after the after, 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 after kid with mama she would say, Mama, you know, uh, you can't go nowhere so say, yes, I can't go get my leg, put my leg over there. <laughs> <laughs> She, she, nev she never she never stopped. So she just she just made a joke out of it. Just she when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. She right, right. But she would not go nowhere. She would she wouldn't care where she had to go. She just said, get my leg. Um, she put it on, she put that leg on, and she go. I think the resilience that she had yes. now, you know, was just impeccable. Mm -hmm. Because um to know that the call that she had in her life and to see how she just kept moving, you know, the Bible says unmovable. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, yes. She was yeah. that kind of person. She was like, I would let nothing stop me. I got, I got to stop what I got to keep moving to get it done. And it showed us the faith that she had in God, in spite of which we had to go through the pain. Mm. You know, because even during that time, that was when my mother wrote the song. You still and know that. Mm. <laughs> And that was the last song she wrote. Mm. Um, mm. 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 Wow. Mm. Yeah, I remember you saying, Dorinda, how you you wish that part was in the movie, too. Mm. Yes. Just, show, just showing that she literally never stopped. Mm. Nothing yes. ever this, stopped her. Yeah. She didn't because this is the thing, because she was still the international president of the music park. And even though they would tell her, you know, Maddie, you ain't have to come, she kept saying, no, I gotta be there. Mm. I gotta be there because the choir members, I can't let the choir members come. Mm. That was her thing. And so even when she couldn't be there, as long as they saw me, mm -hmm. they, you know, they were okay. But mm -hmm. uh, that was just her life, you know? And mm -hmm. you take that away from a person. Right. That's what happened, you know. They start the wither away. Yeah. Because that's what they're used to. Reclining. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So that means we got to get you back on the road. Because if we take that away from you, then... well, um, 
<laughs> we're gonna wait to coronavirus. <laughs> I know that's right. Very I know itself. that's right. But you, but you're still gonna you're gonna continue inside. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> So, so this, this, is I, this is what I always wanted to know, and I never asked you this, Dorinda. But did that? Did you ever? Did that really happen with you and Greg? Or not, maybe not necessarily in the choir, but like, did your mom call y'all out like that? Yes, yes. That is so real because, you know, and and my husband will tell you. He'll tell you now. Now that part, we were, we were, we were actually together I mean, because we were dating we were actually dating and um mama would always say great Dorinda now get over here y'all come on over here you know she always say that <laughs> so before we were they all knew because we were dating all that time but but the uh, actual engagement wasn't not in, it wasn't in the balcony <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why are y'all doing them like that? Why are y'all doing Greg like that? Why would y'all do Greg Cole like that? He would not do it with Twinkie cleaning downstairs. He would not do that. Well, how did he propose to you? How did he Greg propose Cole to you? He would not do it like that. No, it was not like that. Well, how was it? He proposed to me. He went out to eat. And after we got finished eating, um, we went to a place, and um, at that place, that's where he actually proposed. Oh. Were you surprised? Mm, sort of, yes, I was, because I was not expecting it to happen. We had talked about it, but, you know, and if we had gone to, we were going together for at least four years before we got married. Yeah. For a year, very, very nice size of melatonin. <laughs> that was a long time. The people today they get married, they get married like the next week. <laughs> I know, I know. But it was four years for me and Greg, and you know, I kind of knew that it was. You know, he says, "Well, what do you think about us really hooking up and getting married?" I said, "Well, it's about time," you know. And then I was wanting to get out of my mom's house too. That's what I Jackie said. Okay, so tell me this. Now you know if you watched the Jackson Five, Joe Jackson was mad when they got married. He's like, he You sure breaking was. up the group. I don't want y'all married. So was Dr. Clark like, no, you y'all are not getting married. We ain't breaking up the Clark sisters. How was she when he went to her and said, I want to get no. married? My mother was like, when I when I told her, I said, Mama, you know, we're thinking about the man. She said, oh, okay. Because remember, four years. Okay. So she kind of knew of it. And then his, his father, I told you that, you know, his father and my mother were friends. Okay. Uh, his his father was the president of the Southwest Michigan State Choir. Wow. So they worked very close together mm -hmm. in the music ministry. Okay. In the jurisdiction, so okay, yeah, rehearsal. We was always there, me and Greg was always gotcha. There. Gotcha. So, so, um, so when mama asked, uh, no, Greg asked my mom if my dad wasn't living at the time, so mm -hmm. he went and talked to my mom, and my mom said, oh, yeah. he said, All right, I'm gonna give you my daughter, but you can't stop her from playing with the sister. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right, Dr. Man. I mean, then my kind of put, put a little uh, fear in him and said, you know, if we catch her, I mean, when, if we catch you uh, keeping her from seeing what the sisters, I'm going to tell God on you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell God on you. And that's not gonna be, it's not going to be nice. It's not going to be nice. That's what she'll say. It's not going to be nice. Now you gonna eat it because you, you don't 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 stop her from singing. Now you know, this is her ministry. This is it comes first before mm. you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh, this comes first before you. I heard you know what? That's it. real talk. That's yes. real talk though. That's real talk. <laughs> wow. And then he would always say this, he would always say, you know, the women got a little shock at me. You know, she loves <laughs> <laughs> so that was another. Those were the only two things 
that you know that he had to really kind of lie about. And with forty years, we've been together for forty years. Forty. Wow. Dated and before, I, together for forty. Yes. Ooh, that's boy, that's good, Jalea. Read the rest of the read the don't you? Right. So, so what advice do you give to married people? Ooh, or, or how about the single? Single. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. Ooh, all the single ladies. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, I, what I, what I tell you, what did I tell you when I went on your show? You took the last bread. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. I know. They ain't got no more. They ain't no, no more. but there's there's one out there for you because I I'm already playing for him. Oh. I'm already I'm already. So is he gonna have to come and ask you permission? <laughs> is he gonna have to ask you permission if he and she gonna, marry she gonna tell her? Yes. She gonna tell him. Absolutely. Her music, her music comes before you. Right. <laughs> right. I'm gonna say, don't stop her from playing the piano. <laughs> don't stop her from doing what she wants to do. Don't stop her from doing her deeds. I know. Take her money, and you gonna want some too, Chris. Let me tell you, they just—they don't make them like that anymore. They don't make them like that. Yeah, they just don't make them like that anymore. Yeah, but you know what? I think I think they're out there. You really just have to. I would say, Shalaya, that of course you you know you have to pray about it, and I believe God will send the right one. Mm -hmm. They're mm -hmm. still out there. It's just you know they're you know it's a hard it's hard to find them, but they're out there. They're out there. I just think I'm, okay. I'm not saying there aren't incredible guys out there because i because i've met them i've met them i've met some really really great guys but to me greg is so unique mm -hmm. because he allowed you to be dorinda yeah in all of your glory in all of what you are you know what i mean he's but not intimidated he wasn't by her success not I mean, intimidated by her ministry yeah None of that. There's a lot of good guys out there, but then that other part makes them feel small. Mm -hmm. That other part makes them feel they take them off the road. Like, uh, -uh you don't have to get off the road. You have to say right. right, and see, that's what that's my only thing about about you is that you know they have to understand that going in. Mm -hmm. You know, you gotta know that under. You know, this is how I I made it. This mm -hmm. is you know, you can't take this from me. It's just, it's just the same thing with, with, with Kiara. He's the same, same kind of person like my husband. He's the same. same like that's you. That's yours. Yeah. yeah. And he doesn't, he doesn't intimidate her. You know, he lets her go. What she wants to do, and you know, it, it, it's just it's a beautiful relationship. Mm -hmm. And once you have that established before you say the I do, then. If they try to stop you, <laughs> you say, oh, oh, you like we discussed this. That's right. You know, but honey, they switch up on you. They can switch they, up on they you. They will switch up on you soon. They get that oh, place long. Have them sign a prenup, Shalaya. Say uh, I've been I've been on movies. I didn't work with Quincy Jones. This is my money. Sign a prenup. I, see, I don't even. To me, the money is not even the, the isn't the thing. I think you know it, it's it's more about like can we can we exist? Mm. You know, in my you know can I exist in my world and exist in your world and that that actually still be okay. So you don't want anybody in the business. It sounds like you want somebody. Right. You know, I used to, I used to say that I didn't want anyone in the business, but I have had some friends in the business that they've been like I've been friendly with, and it's crazy that the connection is so strong because they just understand. So I'm not as opposed as wow. I once was, you know, because I was like, wow, like I have ne I've always dated or been with somebody seriously that had nothing to do with what I did, mm -hmm. you know, not necessarily, you know, they're not creative in that way. Mm -hmm. And um, and I thought that was like better to, to be separate. But I think um, 
those didn't last either. <laughs> we, <laughs> we last. We didn't turn this into dating with Dorinda. Dating with Dorinda. <laughs> oh, no. 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 show but that's that's important though, Shalaya. That that is so important. And that's for all of the ladies that are watching that are saying, you yes. know, want to get somebody that is, you know, not head over they can't be a fan. Hmm. Mm. They yeah, because if they a fan, they're not gonna be able to put you in your place where you need to be put in your you need gonna somebody that don't care. They're gonna be like, Shalaya, shut up. I don't care nothing about you being on a Lifetime movie. Right. I don't care nothing about you that's being like Dorinda. Right. That's what you need. <laughs> I don't care that show on my that TV right that now. That Get in here and cook me dinner. Marquis, that doesn't resonate with me. That doesn't resonate with me. To me, I, it's, I'm not wanting a fan, mm -hmm. but I do, I do. Because see, this is the thing. I am like anybody who, who I decide like when I go when they get me to a place where I want to like be exclusive with them. I'm yes. I'm a fan, and it might be mm. semantics, maybe I don't know, but I'm a fan, and I and I feel like sometimes we treat uh, strangers mm -hmm. or just you know random people better than we treat our loved ones and so mm -hmm. I always we take our loved ones like, for granted I, I'm not, like they're always with, not with kit gloves but i mm -hmm. do want to handle them with with kindness and use mm -hmm. restraint and watch my tone and mm -hmm. you know and, and do all those things mm -hmm. that i would do to somebody that you know i don't want to get so comfortable and so i wouldn't want someone to like treat me that way either mm -hmm. you know yeah. what i mean yeah yeah because sometimes when you get um People that are uh, mates that uh, they don't understand the success, they don't know, you know, the business, the business of how important it is for you to do what you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, they can't, they can't interfere. Like if you set up a, a date, if you got some dates and they're they're saying, "Well, I want to take you out," no, I have to date. They gotta understand that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the thing. So you gotta be, you know, they gotta understand. That's what I was talking about. They gotta understand who you are before you get married. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. you, you and him behind that. And let me tell you something. I, 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 forty years of me and my husband's uh, relationship. Do you not know we are starting now? Um, he's teaching me how to golf. <laughs> <laughs> Golfing with the coals. Right? Golfing with the coals. <laughs> he's teaching me how to golf. It, it's it's exciting. But I sometimes I'll be like, don't tell me, don't tell me what to do now. <laughs> Because I've been saying that. I've been managing my own career, you know. So right. I'm You're excited. used to do that. <laughs> but then when they do start telling no, that ain't right. You ain't doing that right. You ain't doing that. No, I say, you go over there and this, I'm trying to learn. You know, you, 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 you just, but I have to listen because he's a piece of my spends his time doing this before I got I got a long way. I'm just not trying to get out of club. How you do it? So are you good? Are you pretty good with golfing? You enjoy it? Like this, you know, like this, like this. How you do it? So do you enjoy it? I do. I never, because I, you know, I, I don't have that much patience. You know, okay. that, that are just things. If you don't get that note on the first one, you can just go out. You have to have a lot of patience. That's yeah. Not. And then I learned one thing keep your eyes on the ball. I said, I'm going to keep that. I can keep your eyes on the ball. Keep your eyes on the ball. You can hit that ball. Yeah. Hey. Come on, preach. Come on. Go places where you didn't ever think it was. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Marquise. Do you do you have earbuds? Some of the fans are saying that that the echo is being caused on Dorinda. Is it me? It's really bad. 
they're saying something about him having earbuds. Is this better? Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Is yeah. that better? Yes. Oh, let's do the whole thing. What did you do? <laughs> what did you do? Because whatever you did last time, I put in these earbuds. It knocked you out. If somebody said, finally. <laughs> It looked like we're gonna have to come and redo the interview. We're gonna have to redo. <laughs> oh I'm my available. goodness! I'm available. Part two. Part and, two. And Javon. Oh, definitely. And Javon just not putting up these um comments. Comments on, on this way. Javon, what you doing? <laughs> Yo, oh, been, the been, comments been, all late. Thank you. I've been. I have been so into this conversation that I have just been totally off my job, but. If we want, we can go back to the 10,000 comments and put them in if you want to. I mean, we can do oh, it. I didn't know people were writing in. They were talking about the echo. So I apologize. Talking about the echo because, Everybody because talking about was, the echo. Because Marquise, they were, whatever it was, it was because when you got muted, then Dorinda uh -huh. was completely clear with no yeah, echo. Yeah, oh, so, but the first half was all there though. But when I went down to Clark Sister Trivia, and all of that, they got that. Can we talk about walking in the spirit? Right. See, Somebody we didn't see any of the comments. Look at here. We go. God is good. Oh, on your name. Praise look him. At him. There's wow. no the echo is gone. Look How at him. Oh, the echo. <laughs> I just want y'all to know we ain't seen none of these comments. <laughs> we didn't see nothing. None of them. I guess they don't want to talk to us tonight. Wow, we oh, wow. <laughs> what you mean Shalay is on his neck? No, I'm not. What you talking about? I was wow. <laughs> this is hello, really hello from Dubai. I I was in Dubai for, for hey, two months. Hey everybody. Isn't hey. that amazing? The rosebuds are on, they the shade are. babes are on, and the Come colors on, are on. Babe. Wow. Hey, babes. Love. Love. Yeah, so we, we just read. Now we're just reading. <laughs> right. Right. All right. We did a two-hour interview. Take them off. Take them off. It's a distraction. <laughs> Somebody said oh. rest in heaven, Mercedes. Somebody said rest in heaven, Mercedes. Right. What, what did they say? Rest in heaven, Mercedes. Oh, rest in heaven, Mercedes. I know. I know my mom. My mom texted me and said, "Shalea, they're clowning you because Mercedes is a dog. It wasn't." <laughs> <laughs> but we just went with it. We just went with it. We were like, "Oh yeah, car." <laughs> oh my god, that is so funny. I feel so bad because let me tell you something. Dogs are like when dogs pass. Like that's like humans passing. It is. It's, you it's, know, because they give you yeah. unconditional love. They really you know? do. They do. And they so, love you when there ain't nobody else loving you. Right. <laughs> you <know? laughs> they love you when you stabbed in their back and they just Well then I need a dog. I need to go I need to go buy a dog then. But you need yeah. a dog. dog. <laughs> that dog you go you go with you everywhere you go. You be saying, go somewhere, sit down. <laughs> I know. Okay, so before we go, oh, I need I need Aunt Dorinda and Shalea to answer this. Okay. I need y'all to answer this before we go. Shalea, name three songs that you will want Dr. Dorinda to redo. Clark's sister songs, um, or Dorinda songs. What are three songs you will want her to redo? Ooh. You know, that's such a hard question because to me, they honey, they done. So <laughs> some songs you can't touch. They have already she been done. She would re she would recreate it over if if she did it. If she want if she did it, it would be awesome. But he said that you, he he said what songs would I want to hear you read? And I'm but, saying that I want you to do you it. Want me? Okay, so which song you want me to do? I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> ah, let me see. I want you to do um Alex, this is the song. What's or the song? song? No, Snow song. loves um, pure gold. Ooh, that's a good one. I love that song too. That's such a good one. I would love to 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 do your again. You know your version of um, 
Jesus is the best thing. Oh. You know, J James Cleveland, of course, you know, he was he's the one who who remade it, but you just took it and it's like that's your song now. I you know, I, I found out about oh, James Cleveland I mean, maybe later when he said, I don't know what Gladys Knight was talking about. That would about, be good <laughs> though, if you did it though. Oh, I would love to do we should do it together. That I love that song. I just love, and I love the arrangement that BB did. Your voice on that song is just yeah. to me, that's just some, that is just some good singing. Do you, okay. you know okay. Okay. what okay. So we, that one, was, um, let me see the other song that I would, I would love to hear you do. Um, well, when you do I'm Still Here, you sound just like the record. So. Huh? I said, when you do I'm Still Here, you sound just like the record. So, I mean, how are you going to redo that? Because you said, <laughs> every time I, you sing it. I can't hear. It just went out. I don't know what you just said. I can't hear you. But let me say this, because you can hear me. I want Shalaya to get on the piano tomorrow. Go listen to um, the I Survived album. Okay. Okay. And I want you to do uh, Welcome. Welcome. Okay. Welcome. It's a song on there. Welcome. I think it was written by Warren Campbell, I believe. Yep. Mm -hmm. Go on the I Survived album. That, Shalea, it's you. Really? It's, yes. Go. That's what I want to hear. Wow. That's what I want you to do. Dr. Durant, I already told you what songs I want you to do. I already gave you your whole plan for your life on what songs the Clark sisters need to do, what you need to do on your album, get yeah. Eddie Taft to do a song, get Derek Starks. Do a song. I already told you, so you you good. But that's a, that's very good though, uh, Max. Uh, about welcome, I didn't welcome. think about welcome. welcome would be perfect for her. Okay. She's saying welcome, welcome. Yeah. Would we got we we got to read lips? We got to say oh, a I'm <laughs> Welcome would be. <laughs> I'm so bad at that. I'm gonna have to go back and watch it because I don't know what you oh just said. Oh my goodness! <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. What you welcome. say? Welcome. You got no. You just do it like this. Can somebody type it out? I put We're it in your like pause like y'all told me to, and somebody type out what she said. <laughs> They're gonna think I didn't pay my internet bill. I didn't pay for my Wi-Fi because you didn't pay for the Wi-Fi. Can you hear me, Marquise? I can hear you. Okay. They said welcome. Okay. She was. Yes. She was welcome saying that was a good what song. I want. I want. <laughs> we'll see right now. <laughs> what did they say? Yeah. Um. It will be good. <laughs> Short. That's funny. <laughs> he can't hear us. Come on. Well, since, yes, he can. He can hear me, Auntie. Okay. So, <laughs> so I'm just gonna relay messages until y'all done talking. Okay. I guess. So welcome, so, welcome would be perfect, Shalaya. We count on you to do that okay. by the end of the week. Okay. So I thank you all. Uh, we've been live for two hours. Oh, wow. I tried not to hold legends longer than 30 minutes. It's a joy. I'm very respectful. What'd she say? She said it's a joy. It's a joy. It's a joy. I'm joy. After, look, after I told on myself about stalking you and this. <laughs> you've been stalking them for, the ring said you've been stalking her for 25 years. Oh, <laughs> Literally. Literally. So, Jalea, thank you so much. You're so thank amazing. You. Thank you. Auntie so Dorinda, I love you. You're so love amazing. You thank too. you both for your time. They I said to, love I you too, Marquis. To, I try not to hold legends longer than 30 minutes. Oh, and we've been on here for two hours. I'm glad. I'm with my girl, so we cool. We I, cool. I miss she you. said I she's miss glad because she was so her girl much. and she's cool. I miss you so and much. I think about they've you enjoyed all the this time. So much. I love you, honey. Thank you so I much. You. I love you all. Rosebud, Shay Bay, thank you so much. Javon, thank you for all my of pleasure. the problems that happened tonight. He thank was in you, there to you're welcome, you're welcome, auntie. Thank you so much, you're Javon. fantastic. Yeah. All right, we're coming back for a part two. I don't part know when. Nikki, I'm going to be texting you. 
I don't know what, but we because I got plenty of more Clarkson stuff to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie Dorinda said we can make it. Auntie Dorinda said we can make it a musical for part two. Yeah, let's make it a musical. Let's make it a musical. Wait, Wait, Auntie Dorinda, you go bust yourself up, yourself up with your song and your album, and what song belongs on which album. So you know time. what? I, I got to study. Tell him I got to study. She said she's gonna study, so she's gonna be ready for part two. Shalaya was there to help, but you you gotta study. All right, I love you all so much. Have love y'all. Love you too. Love you. Bye. Bye. Love you bye. Bye. The podcast will be available in one hour. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Shalaya. Love you, Shalaya.